This is Pinchas in my first video blog. It's Tishub of Night 5768. And here we are in Yerushalayim, in Jerusalem, in the old city. And this is where it all happened. And this is what it's all about. Now I'm zooming in. We are by the southern wall of the Harabayas, the southern part of the Koto. And it's a little hard to see, but if you ever come by this way and you peek over, you're looking at a pile of stones. And these are actually from the base of Migdash itself, from the second temple. 1,938 years ago, some say 1939, some say 1940, these stones stood as part of the Beis HaMikdash in the corner of the temple complex. This is where the Kohanim would actually blow the trumpets from. And the soldiers toppled over these stones, the Romans, and this is where they landed, and this is where they remain to this very day. Now, I was actually moments ago by the Kota Plaza, and we were uh, saying Echa, and then the Kinnis, and there was a Yeshiva Bachar next to me, and he pointed out how um, the actual Chorban happened just like this year on uh, Matzah Shabbos, on, on right after the Shabbat. And point out another thing that was very interesting, that we are not mourning today because it is something that we're upset about and that we that's never going to change. The reason we're mourning is because we know that something is going to change and that it will only change through us weeping over the destruction. And once we do mourn properly, then we will merit to see Yerushalayim rebuilt entirely. Another point I want to make is that if you look around, you can see there are droves and droves and droves of people making their way to the Kota Plaza tonight. Tish above night is traditionally the busiest night of the year for the Kota. And yet, if we would go back just a mere 60 years less. If we went back 40 years in history, 41 years, there wouldn't be anybody here. And the Chazal teach us, the sages teach us that the redemption is going to happen like the rising sun. First there's going to be a crack of dawn, there's going to be a little light, and then, as we get closer and closer and closer, it's going to get brighter and brighter and brighter, faster and faster. And certainly, we see that happening in front of our very eyes and you're looking at it. Clearly, the sun is already well on its way to being fully risen and clearly we are very close to the Gula. And this um, this Yeshiva Bachar that was sitting next to me tonight, he, he actually said to me a very nice thing at the end. He said, I look forward to seeing you next year on the other side of the wall.